Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and I am here to review Croatia with you. To get started, EF Ultimate Break is a travel company that caters to 18 to 35 year olds looking to book a trip. They have about 65 trips on their site, anywhere from six days to 60 days and everything in between. If you are looking to take a trip to anywhere in the world, I would definitely suggest looking at EF. They book your flights, hotels, transportation, tour guide, and so much more. You're just gonna have to check out their site to learn a little bit more about what all they do, where they go, and you're definitely gonna have to book a trip. And to help you out, you can use the code UAHANA100 to get $100 off your trip, and that does include on top of sale. So go ahead and check that out, use my code, and let's get to talking about Croatia. It is a 12-day trip, and two of those are travel days, but you spend the first couple of nights in Split. Split was an amazing city. It's a really big port and had a lot going on, had great restaurants, awesome nightlife, and was just really fun and entertaining. And we stayed at a hotel when we first got to Split. It was really nice in a good location. And then after the couple days in Split, we were able to take off on the boat and we spent about seven days on the boat and it was far beyond my expectations. You know, when I'm thinking of a boat, I just thought of the bare minimum, we'd have some food on it and the accommodations would be fine, but it was just so much better than I thought. I will show plenty of footage of the boat, but just know that you are in great hands with whatever boat. Yes, I know the boat varies from trip to trip. You might not be on the same exact boat I am, but there are plenty of other reviews on YouTube about Croatia. You can see all of the different types of boats, even from some other ambassadors that I've watched. So this is all gonna be about our tour on the Meridian boat. Again, I full disclosure, there's gonna be different boats and different expectations, but this is the review for the boat that we stayed on. What I loved most about the Croatia trip was just how relaxing it was. You know, all the other four trips I've taken with EF were just go, go, go. You know, you have limited time in these countries, so you're trying to see everything. Not a bad thing, but definitely a change of pace with this Croatia trip. For one of the first times with EF, I felt like it was a true vacation. I got to relax, I got to tan, I got to read a book, and I got to just think, I don't have any plans for the afternoon and I get to sleep in, I don't have anything to go to. So if you are looking for more of a relaxing, like true vacation, definitely would highly recommend Croatia. And although I mentioned a lot about relaxing in a vacation, it wasn't like the activity level wasn't still high. There was still plenty to do, a lot of different things planned. So it was a really nice way to see like five to six different cities and ports within Croatia. We even got to cross the border and go to a different country, Bosnia, which was really nice and beautiful, very unexpected. And just overall, yes, there were some days that we would go to the waterfall or a national park, for example, or we would go on a walking tour and we would go with a tour guide but it was a great balance between that and then in the afternoon we'd have free time or vice versa so let's talk about the accommodations on the boat which far exceeded my expectations they were really really nice you had your own bed again this was the ultimate plus trip so you only had one roommate the entire time of the trip and so you and your roommate had your own bed you also had storage underneath your bed for your luggage and anything you needed to put in there there were plenty of drawers and shelves within the room too there was a nice closet with a blow dryer ladies this was clutch and there was also a mirror within the room in case your roommate was in the bathroom. You could use, always use the mirror within the room, which I thought was great. There was AC within each room, which worked really well. Sometimes it did get a little muggy in there just because again, you're on the boat and it does get a little warm during the day. So I brought a portable fan and I slept with that most nights on the nightstand just when I was sleeping and it kept me pretty cool. But again, AC worked just fine in the room. And then when you headed into the bathroom, it was a very pleasant experience. It had a stand-up shower with a curtain. And you know, on most days you're just so hot, you're laying out, you want to have a cold or lukewarm shower. So I only used the hot water a couple times, but when I did, it was really nice. I was concerned about that, but really again, you're just so warm on the boat. You really don't need a ton of hot water. And the sink was great. It had great storage above it for all my makeup. And again, I didn't feel crammed at all, even when there was two of us in a room. 
and the accommodations were just really, really nice on this boat. Next, we will talk about food on the boat, which, ooh, it was so amazing. In the morning, we'd have breakfast about 8.30 to 9.30 every morning, and they would have eggs and toast and just a variety of fruit and other things that you could just grab and go. And then for lunch, that was usually around one o'clock. So again, we would either have come from a walking tour within the city we were in or just laying out most of the day. And so the lunch room was really, really beautiful. It had plenty of space for all of us to be in. And there was 25 of us. And each day we literally had a three course meal. It was absolutely incredible. It would start off with just a wonderful appetizer. Sometimes I even thought that was like the main entree. It was so big, it was a great portion. We had the main entree of course, um, which consisted of a lot of chicken and vegetables and fish and sometimes, you know, like a pasta. So you can definitely see the variety in the lunches and just the quality of the meals was just like amazing. And then we would move on to dessert each day, which was 10 out of 10 for me. I'm a dessert girly, so it was just perfect. And I felt full every single day. I never felt like, oh my gosh, like I still need to eat um, a ton. Cause on some of the other EF trips, it's just like the lunch provided has been okay. But this one was just like, again, one of the best uh, lunch packages I've ever seen on an EF trip. And then um, the rest of the day would just be left up to you to have your dinners elsewhere. The tour director would have a really good suggestion of where to go the welcome dinner when we first got there and then the farewell dinner when we were leaving was included but everything else you had to pay for and you know really they were pretty affordable uh anywhere from 10 to 15 euros and very affordable i will say cash is king in europe so especially in croatia it was very hard to pay individually by credit card sometimes one of us would just take the bill and then we would split it up by venmoing each other if we had a credit card but they really did prefer cash and it was the easiest method to pay every single time and then at night we would just go out to bars, clubs, whatever. A really cool thing was the boat would have a happy hour um, each night, which was really fun. They would write on the whiteboard what was on special for that night. And so there's usually a shot and a mixed drink or just a specialty drink on the mix for each happy hour. So at the end of each night, they would total everything up for you. And then the next day you would check on what your bar tab is. And then at the very end of the trip, you paid your bar tab. And again, when the happy hour happened, a drinks were like four or five euro. And so by the end, I think I spent a hundred dollars over seven days. It was just a really cool way to keep track of your spending and to have really nice drinks on the bar. You could have a drink at any time, not just happy hour. Um, the bartender Lucy was amazing. Oh my gosh, the crew was just awesome. And just a really good experience of breakfast, lunch, being on your own for dinner, coming back for happy hour, and then going out to experience the nightlife in each city you were in. One thing I got asked often is like, how is the weather, what to pack, what to expect bringing to this trip? And you know, what I would say is it's definitely a, now again, I went in July and so it was a very warm time. So it's definitely a tropical kind of climate. It was very warm. Um, it was right on the water. So you did feel that a little bit, but in the evenings, it was kind of cool. It was really nice. It had a great breeze. Um, it wasn't as humid as some of the other locations I visited so just know that when you're packing pack super light breathing material um, and just know that you don't really visit any temples or anything that you really need to be covered up for it was really nice just to kind of um, pack some cute outfits so one thing I would suggest though is you are changing clothes at multiple times a day think about it if you're waking up you are either again going on a walking tour right away into the city so that's one outfit and then you're really hot you're probably not going to wear that like um, again in the evening when you're going out. So then think about changing into a bathing suit when you're laying out or going swimming on your swim break. And then after that, you're changing to go to dinner or go out. So really, I ran through like two to three outfits a day. So when I tell people what to pack, I would definitely suggest dresses, flowy pants, you know, just like anything that you wanna um, look cute in or any of the dress up options. Um, I. I brought a bathing suit for each day because I'm crazy. But literally just a, probably 
three to five swimsuits will be just fine. There's plenty of space to hang up your bathing suits throughout the boat to dry off. I would definitely suggest bringing a towel. All they do is provide you a uh, room towel and you obviously probably don't wanna use that for laying out as well. So definitely bring a towel. The fast drying microfiber towels is always what I will suggest. And sunscreen, that's a really interesting thing to talk about is sunscreen because I brought mine, I had a checked bag. So I brought two aerosol cans of sunscreen. I thought surely once I get there, if I need any more, I can go grab them. Actually, I did not find a ton of places with sunscreen. So I'm really glad I brought it. And if I did find the sunscreen, it was like super expensive and just like really small portions of it. So I'm really glad I brought sunscreen. So if you are checking a bag, which I'm team carry on gang always, but this one uh, definitely suggest a checked bag. You're gonna only be in one, or you're gonna be in a hotel and split, but you're gonna be in one place mostly the whole time on the boat. You have plenty of room. You're not gonna be lugging it around or checking it the rest of the trip. So highly recommend doing that. And then that way you can pack some of these things like sunscreen. Um, definitely bring a lot of toiletries for the bathroom. It comes with a shampoo dispenser, but there wasn't even that much. So I would definitely recommend bringing all the soaps, shampoos, um, anything that you're gonna get through with in the shower. And then also that portable fan I mentioned that was clutch to have on my nightstand. It just kept me cool at night when the AC wasn't um, cranking. And then, and also I suggest this on every international trip, a portable charger, you just have to, your phone's gonna probably be on low battery after you're taking so many pictures. So just bring the portable charger, especially if you're going out at night, just a safety measure. And so those would be my biggest packing tips. But again, multiple outfit changes were key within this trip. Croatia in general is just such a beautiful country. It was just an amazing mix of these old beautiful buildings with the terracotta colored um, shingles on top of the rooftops and um, the city walls uh, within Dubrovnik and around Dubrovnik. It was just um, so interesting to see. It almost felt like a mix of Italy and Greece, kind of that Mediterranean feel um, while also seeing the old parts of Croatia. And the country has come so far as just really cool to see the development. Obviously, we think of Game of Thrones and some of the cool things that were filmed within Croatia and just such a beautiful country to be within, walking distance to the water everywhere you are and just the beautiful blue water, the terracotta colored uh, rooftops is just such a beautiful combination. So again, if you're looking for more of the trip where you're relaxing, you're seeing beautiful sights, you're um, also doing some adventure. We had a kayaking um, day and then we also had a lot of walking tours. Um, this definitely is the trip for you. The nightlife in Croatia was just one of a kind. It was absolutely amazing to see some of the clubs. One of them was in a cave. One of them we literally had to take a ferry over to a private island to go clubbing. Um, one of them was in a 600 year old fortress. So Croatia was extremely unique within nightlife. I'm not a huge drinker. I just drink socially and um, a lot of the group was the same way. Um, so we had a little bit of a mix and you truly felt like if you wanted to go out and experience that nightlife, it's not like you had to stay out super, super late. You could always just go experience it and come back. Or if you're just not a drinker or partier at all, there was definitely a small group of individuals that would come out to dinner with us, all be together. And then when the time came to go out that night, they would just go back on the boat. And nobody was shamed because of that. We had a group, um, a mix of people that wanted to drink, go out and not. You don't have to do it every night, but I will suggest if you do like that kind of nightlife, even if you don't drink, I would highly suggest seeing all of the different nightlife options in Croatia. It was some of the most unique experiences I've ever been through when it comes to clubs, going out, bars, all of that. I could truly go on and on about just how excellent this Croatia trip was, but I hope my video has convinced you to book. There are definitely other reviews out there too that say very similar things of how positive Croatia was. So again, check out the Cruise Croatia tour on EF Ultimate Break site. It's a 10 day long trip that takes you through everywhere you wanna go in Croatia. I still would love to come back and see other parts of it, but this definitely was so amazing. Uh, again, you can use my code UAHANA100 to get $100 off your 
your trip and definitely consider EF when you are booking in your next international trip. I went solo. There was a lot of other individuals that went solo as well. It's definitely possible. It's so empowering to travel the world by yourself and take on things. I feel like if you can do that alone, travel internationally alone, you can conquer anything. So thanks again for watching my video. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, you don't even barely have to watch this. Just book Croatia. You will not regret it. And I can't wait to see all of you take this trip too. So thanks again for watching.